What socially expected thing do you hate doing the most? Buying holiday gifts for co-workers. At my company, it is expected that everyone get a little gift for everybody in the office. Individually the gifts aren't that expensive, but when buying for several people it adds up quickly. I resent that I have to spend money on people that I don't really care about that much. Having to come up with a reason for not doing something as opposed to just saying I don't want to. One of my friends once told us I'm not feeling social today. My other friends and I laughed about it at the time, but in retrospect, dang, more people should say that. This is probably only applicable to people who don't live alone, but having to entertain people who are not your friends when your family member flatmate leaves the room to go to the toilet or make a drink or something, it's so painfully awkward, but less awkward than blanking them for a couple of minutes. I don't know if this is a female thing but there's a pressure to be really enthusiastic around kids. I don't like or dislike children but I don't like being expected to behave like a kindergarten teacher every time I meet one. This whole over the top, bubbly annoying thing that most women do with kids just exhausts me. I know that it's genuine for some women but for many, it's a weird competition to see who can be the most motherly or nurturing. It can be pretty creepy sometimes. Yes. I'm not really a kid person, but people definitely expect that I'll be all over their kids, even those who know I'm generally awkward around children. Just because I'm a woman doesn't mean I want to hold your baby watch your toddler while you do something else find some toys and play with your kids etc. I'm at this social gathering to talk to adults, not be a babysitter. Talking about myself, I always think I'm boring the other person to death. Stupid icebreaker activities at seminars or events. No, I don't want to do a stupid dance to get the blood flowing. I'm here to learn something and get crap done. Not make friends. Get on with the dang program. Pretending that I want to advance in any job I have. No, I don't care about becoming a manager or whatnot. I took this job because it's what I wanted to do. I'm not interested in being paid to think about how other people should work harder. Butt kissing to get a job. It feels disgusting. Having to individually say goodbye to everyone at a family social gathering. I'm all about the Irish goodbye. I compromise. Host gets a quiet goodbye so I can thank them, etc. Everyone else get the Irish goodbye. I go home happy. Going to family gatherings for a wide array of occasions, including anniversaries, birthdays, graduations, reunions confirmations, etc. Those can be long days of tedious small talk with not much in common to discuss other than that we're related. Talking about myself, resume, college app, interview, etc. I know right, I have to make myself sound like a decent person who isn't a pile of crap. Excessive socializing. My family and friends have given me crap for going straight to my room after going out or hanging out with them all day. It's like, didn't you have enough of me? I definitely had enough of you. Caring about my co-workers lives. Hugging people you don't want to hug. Get some personal space up in this place. 1. Personal space. 2. Go to have that personal space. 3. Stay out of my personal space. Wearing a long sleeve shirt slacks tie. It's 113 degrees here in Fresno and I am tired of these uncomfortable clothes. I mean you do live in Fresno. Part of this is on you. General small talk. Giving hollow pleasantries. It's an expected niceness in the US. Smiling. I have resting bee face. Oh god I hate smiling. I didn't even think of that. A natural smile I obviously don't mind. But when you have to force a smile I just feel like a proper idiot and that the people can see right through it immediately. Celebrating my birthday. I can't stand being the center of attention and it just causes me more anxiety to make plans and wait for people to show up than anything else. For like 10 years now I've just done a thing where I go to a Japanese steakhouse. My favorite type of restaurant. With my close family for my birthday. Nobody sings or anything. We just go out. Enjoy some teppanyaki chicken and steak, and that's that. It's really low-key and nice. Cover letters holy frick I hate them. You want to get to know me that's what an interview is for. Want to know your skills that's what a resume is for. There is literally no excuse for cover letters. 
A good cover letter won't get you a job, but a bad one will make you not get the job, and if you don't give one you seem lazy. Cover letter, resume, application and then an interview. Cut half that crap out. Work? Can I just run away to the hills please? Any hills will do. I just wanted to live in a stone hut with a bunch of animals when I was 9. I was told this was an unacceptable life goal. I hate when people treat me to stuff. Like don't worry, I'll pay for your coffee from a coworker. I feel like to be graceful about it. You're supposed to refuse first, then they insist. Then you accept it and act surprised at their generosity. I never feel like I show my appreciation enough. And I wish you could just accept it and say thanks without having to deal with all the pageantry. I hate when people do this and say like you can get the next one or something. I hate feeling indebted to people. Holiday socializing with my husband's high society southern Alabama family. Everyone is so full of crap. There's a whole AMA here waiting to happen. I find this kind of thing fascinating. Going to boring social gatherings. Pretending to be happy and energetic when you're not or everyone thinks you're a grump. I just have no energy to match the level of social squirrels constantly talking and over emoting about every little thin f- OMG. Just last weekend a co-worker accused me of being on my period because I wasn't being as cheerful as usual. I just wanted to get my crap done fast that day. It led to an argument and now awkwardness. Waking up in the morning. I don't get it. Seems like everyone hates it except the 3% of the population that gets to decide that rule. My body tells me it wants to be up at night and sleep in the morning. I will risk all the worms. I will never be the early bird. Highly formal office clothes for 99% of people required to wear them. You sit at a desk all day, and the only other people who see you are your co-workers for most people. What function does that collar serve? Does it inhibit vertical neck movement so you keep your head down and work? Are dress shoes required to make you move less so you stay at your seat and work more? You should pull a full on office space. Come in wearing sandals with an untucked Hawaiian shirt while tossing around fish guts and knocking over cubicles. Writing thank you notes. I honestly would rather give the gift back than write another stupid thank you note. I'm southern. It's not just expected. It's required. You'll have your accent revoked if you do not comply. I am from the south and I've never had to do this. But I also have no accent. Oh crap. Singing or being sung happy birthday. Looking at pictures of people's babies. It looks like every other baby. What am I meant to say? Being polite to everyone and the customer is always right balls. I work with bikes. They are the same as cars in terms of the size of the part is the size of the part. Just because you don't like the answer doesn't mean it's wrong. I had to politely argue with a guy today over how the bikes get longer and taller as they go up in size. He was adamant that this bike that I ride and sell does not grow in wheelbase between the small, his size, and the large, the one he was ordering. I'm a polite guy and just phrase it as we want you to get the bike that fits so you can enjoy the sport whilst being comfy and confident. He was trying to order a bike that would be way fit him. This is akin to a guy wanting a Porsche track car ordering a JCB. He ordered the bike, it got built, didn't fit, returned it and wasted everyone's time. Wish I could just say, you are wrong. I used to work for a game stop. Old lady comes in and asks for Mario for the Xbox. 20 minute argument about Mario being on the Xbox because her grandson told her and he's very smart. I just wanted to be listen lady. You're so old that your version of video games is rubbing your eyes a lot and seeing spots. Leave the gaming to me. I ended up telling her we don't carry it and should try Walmart. Small talk when doing things like getting your hair cut. I just find it super awkward. I couldn't care less about what holidays you're planning or your thoughts and opinions on what's going on around the world. If I could go to a silent hairdresser's I'd pay at least double for that. My normal hairdresser was on vacation last week so I went to somebody new and we barely spoke the entire time. It was fantastic. At one point I said sorry I'm not very talkative I've just had a long day and she said I'm actually so relieved you said that. I don't really feel like talking either and we went about our business of not talking. 10 stroke 10 highly recommend it. Seeing relatives I don't like and having to get along with them. 
especially when everyone agrees they are in butthole, yet I'm in the wrong for wanting to have nothing to do with them despite everyone hating having to interact with them. Just don't. It's liberating and honestly nobody gives a frick if you don't talk to your creepy stepdad for 6 years. Heck, your mom wouldn't even talk to him if she didn't have to. Wear formal clothes to work, especially if you sit the whole day in front of a computer with other colleagues. Luckily I don't have to in my current job, but if they would change that I would seriously consider leaving. The whole hello, how are you good, how are you good routine. For most people, I don't care how you are and you don't care how I am. Skip it. I've just boiled it down to good. Thanks. Cut the conversation right then and there. Phone calls. I hate saying bye at social events. It takes so much time and there's always someone questioning why you're leaving. I usually just dip out and text everyone after. Yeah I'd rather just tell one or two people, and then anyone else that actually cares will hear one way or another. Being social, I'm basically a hermit outside of going to work 9-6 on Friday. Holding babies when people offer me them. I don't want to hold your potato. It'll probably break it. It's usually so awkward too. Most of the time the baby starts to cry and you have to do that oh it's okay go back to mommy now bulls like 2 seconds later. Responding to relatives elders when they ask how school is going. Having a wedding when you get married. I suppose if you want to but the truth is to me they are a meaningless, stressful waste of money. I just want to sign the paper. That's it. Wear and makeup. I've legit stopped giving a rat's butt. But I often think people assume I'm lazy and don't give a crap if my skin's a bit blotchy or my hair's a bit frizzy. I don't wanna waste half an hour at the mirror. Barbara. And it's not just the application. You've also got to spend another half an hour removing the makeup and combing your hair to avoid it getting knotted from the hairstyle you did. Really a waste of time for an everyday thing. Small talk. Ugh. Walking down the street and passing someone you barely know, but just know well enough is my form of sticking needles in my eyeballs. Having to change who are to get a job. I feel like I'm killing part of myself when I have to brown nose the people who interviewing me just to get the job. Trust me, I'll make your business better, just let me do the job. But there is perfect Patty with her nose lodged in someone's Tootsie factory who is half the worker I am and she gets the job. Having to go to social events even though I'm not a big talker and introvert. I like being by myself or with just one friend and have big dinners with dozens of people. Having to remember everyone's birthday, unless you're my fiance or my dog, I kind of don't give a crap, or if you're like 96 because that's impressive. Being asked to chip in money for a present for my boss's birthday, or being asked to sign cards and and stuff for a co-worker's birthday, my boss makes over 2x what I make, and he can afford to buy himself a gift card with his own money my last birthday, I didn't get so much as a happy birthday from anybody at work. And I truly and honestly did not care at all. I'm cool with hanging out with individual people from work occasionally, but I don't want to put my life out there for my whole office to see, and I don't typically friend co-workers on Fasabu. Being ambitious. I don't want kids. I don't want a fancy house. I don't need a lot. I don't desire a lot. Simple contentment is all I want from this life. I don't need some high paying job. I just need enough to comfortably fund my relatively cheap hobbies and very unextravagant living. Hopefully I'll meet a girl that's cool with that and we can have a basic but happy life with a dog. The dog is a must. And if I'm destined to die alone then frick it I could probably be happy enough just with my dog bro. Now if I told my parents my life plan they would find it to be absurd. Where are your dreams? Lol dreams. I haven't had big dreams since I was like 7. Like this video or this chonker will sit right on top of your house. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.